Hello, this is Gavin Hunt, a UK-based artist working primarily in acrylic paints. This is the first video that I've done. Um, I don't usually have the time, honestly, I'm too busy painting. Uh, this isn't incredibly advanced, but it's something I thought I'd give it a go. It's not intended to be a how-to paint, it's basically how I paint, uh, just in case anybody's interested. Hopefully you are. The um, equipment I use, I work on an easel uh, with a daylight lamp, of course using acrylic paints. Some of the brands that I use are Liquitex, Windsor & Newton and De La Rowney. Uh, model painting brush, it's nylon size zero. The other brush in the picture is a little larger, flat size 6. The Unipin fine line markers, those are black. The neon markers, which I normally add to white paint once it's dry. And then I put some more white paint on top to get the desired effect. Um, I'm painting on canvas in this instance. Uh, it's canvas board. The painting's roughly 10.5 inches by 8.5 inches. Uh, as you can see, the I've gridded the paper, or it's in, in quarters. Uh, it's a, a technique that's commonly used by artists. Um, I use it. I'm not the greatest drafts person. Um, I do whatever's necessary to get, get started, really. And, of course, to make sure that my uh, paintings are accurate, that they, they look like what they're meant to. And, of course, if you're working in a realistic uh, style, and, of course, that, that's kind of essential. Uh, I use rulers, um, bottle lids for circles, whatever basically I can use to, to support the accuracy of accuracy of of, uh, of my work. Um, I start off by blocking in in colours, and pretty much that that pencil grid is gone anyway. So you're kind of on your own really from from the first layer of paint. Um, I tend to work in zones, areas, uh, the hair, the face, the clothes the background and, and other detail, basically uh, moving along once I've, I've kind of come to the to the end of of a section and, and and basically until I can't really see the the wood for the for the trees really so I move along and then come back round and have another go and add some more detail. Um, the acrylic paints of course they dry quickly um, which is which suits me because I make a lot of mistakes, possibly for every ten marks I make on on the canvas, uh, nine of them are wrong. Keep the one that I've done right, of course, and and correct the others until basically everything is as I, as I'd like it to be. Um, oils, obviously, oil paints are, are slower to to dry, so that they don't really suit that <laughs> that approach. Um, my Palette, the colours that I use, reds, uh, cadmium red, crimson red, permanent rose, yellows, yellow, uh, Naples yellow, yellow ochre, cadmium yellow, cadmium orange, um, mm. greens, hookers green, emerald green, bright green, uh, blues, Prussian blue, cerulean blue, Payne's grey, and some dioxin purple. I also use burnt sienna, burnt umber. And of course, black and white, Mars black and titanium white. Um, as I say, I, I work in rounds and zones of the, of the painting. I don't complete one area in its entirety. I, I, I do a bit in, in one area and move on to the next and, and, and go around that, that way. Um, the hair, uh, I, I, it's not something I, I feel like I excel at in, in particular, but... Uh, as you saw at the start of the, the video, it was pretty much blacked out, which is what I do regardless of the of the colour of the hair. Um, of course, I add in detail as as I go. Um, of course, the hair needs detail, but a common mistake is to is to try and paint individual hairs. That doesn't normally pay off. You tend to find that your best uh, depicting zones, you know, tone, light, dark and shapes in, in the hair to make it look more realistic and, and well, 3D, I, I, I suppose. Um, there's a lot of greenery in this painting. It's not it's, it's not my forte, um, but uh, yeah, it, it, it did my head in a bit, to be, to be honest. The, the, the colours in that are hookers green, bright green, as I say, uh, a bit of emerald green, 
and some turquoise paints too. The, the skin tones that I tend to use in basic terms are cadmium red, naples yellow, crimson red, some burnt umber, some yellow ochre and possibly some burnt sienna and a few other colours depending on, on the complexity and, and of course the, the lighting and, and what have you. Um, this, this, this painting took uh, approximately eight weeks. That would have been about three hours a day. So that's, that's probably more than 175 hours. It's obviously quite quite a bit. Um, a little larger than, than I'd normally paint. Uh, quite often I paint at a size of three and a half inches by two and a half. So of course that's that's a lot smaller. Um, so it's a nice change to do something a little a little bigger. Uh, yeah, um, I hope that this this video has been interesting or an insight. Uh, if you feel anybody may be interested or may have something to learn from it, then if you could share it, that would be great. Um, but thank you for watching and thank you for your interest in my my painting and my my ramblings, I suppose. Um, and of course, you know, supporting my my work in general, my art page, and liking my posts and, and commenting and what have you. It's it's all great, greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you very much. Um, yeah, so it's been cool. 